like my home, take lives of the known. You can cry, you can die in a blink of an eye. The hearts that were once whole are breaking. Think about your decision making. Taking, aching, my heart is shaking. Tick tock goes the clock, when will it stop? When going place to place, from the sky to the grave, you can never forget face. You could die, but, mo- but many won't care more than I. Going on 11, growing in a world where people are taking lives from lives. People's lives are slowly fading, while others' hearts are quickly breaking. Young people making quick decisions, then ending up in prisons. Cast on their wrists that they're gonna miss, all because of a knife I used when dissed. Now my life is fear. Knowing my family is near, with bars between us. Is this what's happening to our generation? Mums and dads fearing all the kids still breathing. Is this the life we want to live? Growing up in a place where life crime occurs is very daunting. You never know what kind of people carry knives or like where you could get hurt. People are at risk walking around streets knowing that there are people carrying weapons. Growing up where knife crime occurs can make me scared and very cautious of where I go. I think it can be quite scary or quite um, worrying for people who um, who are very kind and don't want to use knives. If I came face to face with someone with a knife, I would feel very scared because um, I haven't been in that situation before and I wouldn't know the person's intentions towards me. I would be very anxious and nervous because I wouldn't know what um, what they are interpreting by the um, expressions they're showing with that weapon. In that situation, you don't really know what to do and it's quite scary when you come face to face with someone who could kill you in that second. If I came face to face with somebody holding a knife, I wouldn't know what to do because like, I don't know if they want to hurt me or if they want to hurt somebody else and I don't know if I could stop them or not. In our project, our aim is to raise awareness of the effects and the problems of knife crime, but the most important thing is the solution. So we want our young people to become more than just a statistic. 30 seconds is a life, 30 seconds is a life. This life, this time, this crime is done by no family or friend of mine. Power, property. That's why the deed was done, sometimes not even by a knife or by a gun, but just for fun. The unknown are becoming noticed, the alive are becoming dead, my social circle is becoming less and less. Our reasons for tomorrow are leaving today, our next generations are scared to stay. Gone are the days of the old man on the corner. Gone are the days of the pity fist fights. Gone are the days of the walking who are now the fallen. My life consists of many prayers to God that my family and I get to stay. Every phone call, message could it be. Every step over my threshold, every breath I breathe is one of hope, direction, devotion. Every last resting word goes to my mum telling her I love her for now. I think that people carry knives because they feel that they need to protect themselves because that like adults like the police can't do it for them so they need to do it themselves. I do not believe that knife crime is connected to a specific race or gender. One, they're either, either showing anger or aggression or two, they are very curious and watching themselves so they are carrying a knife to protect them. I think it makes them feel safe, like just in case anyone wants to hurt them. I don't think that knives are connected always to gangs because anybody could just go up to their kitchen drawer and grab a knife. A victim can be victimised um, for something as small as a postcode and the effects and the emotion of that and the impact of that on other people is not thought of. They're just another person that's been taken away from another family. From 
the nine months of which a mother carries a child and the father more times than not is there to support a child you build up a relationship and a connection and to have that taken away from you can really take a lot out of a person um, during the years of that child's upbringing they are your pride and your joy and I think that to have that taken away from you in, in literal seconds can be the most horrifying thing in the world. 16. Why do we feel like we're living in a war zone? What I'm reading over the media is leaving me mind blown. Why us? Why this town? All I'm hearing is another young boy down. Every night I pray for my brother and his friends safe home. And it's not just the knives that the schoolboys carry. Don't forget about them sharp combs. Forget your ops, just focus on getting yourself to the top. We went from playing with clay to you pointing at me with your knife. Why? God gave everyone a reason for life. And the street is getting worse every day. And I just don't know what to say. Do you really want a sentence of seven or above eleven? And I don't want to hear that anybody else has been taken. Because you never really know when it's the last goodbye. So I appreciate everyone. And let's work together to put a stop to a knife crime and all violence once and for all. R.I.P. to the fallen, light up heaven. R.I.P. to the fallen, light up heaven. We want to make an effect on young people so that they realise and understand the impact of knife crime upon our tomorrow.